Good morning, Packers fans. Aaron Nagler here with your Packers Daily Chat, coming to you live on the Cheesehead TV social channels. It's Thursday, and the big news this morning, Nathaniel Hackett, head coach of the Denver Broncos. The news breaking about an hour ago. Uh, Hackett, the offensive coordinator for the Packers, will be Denver's next head coach. Obviously, lots of questions arise uh, from the small scale. Will he try to poach someone, anyone from the Packers staff, maybe a Luke Getze to be his offensive coordinator, etc.? To the big, large questions like, is this grease in the rails for a trade of Aaron Rodgers? Obviously, we have no idea at this point, but um, you have to think. A team that was very much in the mix last year, calling, asking about Aaron Rodgers, etc. Having a guy as their head coach who Rodgers clearly has an affinity for, enjoys playing in his offense. That's another uh, another step for the old Broncos. So uh, the pieces continue to fall, so to speak, into an offseason puzzle. And we'll be here talking about it each and every day, Monday through Friday, right here on Packers Daily. I want to give a quick early shout out to our friends over at DraftKings, the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code CHEESEHEAD and get 56 to 1 odds on any NFL team. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team wins. That's promo code CHEESEHEAD at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Just bet $5 on any NFL playoff game. There are only three left. DraftKings Sportsbook will give new customers an additional $280 in free bets if the team they choose wins their game. Download it, people. You want to do it. Use promo code CHEESEHEAD. I cannot stress that enough. Promo code CHEESEHEAD on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Good morning, everybody in the chat. Everybody chatting it up. Look at this. So many people. Dale, good morning from New York. I hope London is treating you well. Uh, let's go back up to the top here. I got a lot of super chats. Starting with Craig. With Stenovich, <laughs> sorry guys, with Stenovich becoming OC here in Denver or in Denver, bring back Campy. Um, that's a lovely sentiment, but I don't see that happening. Uh, Lafleur uh, runs a very specific system, one that Campin is not familiar with. Packed at, thanks for the super chat. Morning, is it possible we lose both Steno and Getsy? I think there's a very remote possibility, but it'd be silly to completely dismiss it, but. I don't see Stenovich going anywhere. Maybe Getze. But I would think Getze is most likely next in line to be the OC in Green Bay. But we'll see. We will see. Um, TKM, thanks for the Super Chat. Okay, did you see Andrew Brandt on Rich Eisen? Thoughts? I know you hate that. Pappy's fun. <laughs> no puppy for your girls. I did see that. Um, you know, Andrew clearly uh, has been observing and, and knows his stuff as far as the league and the Packers go. Um, yeah, I thought it's pretty in line with what he's been saying all year long. I, I wasn't caught off guard or surprised by any of it. Um, you know, I think they're, you know, I know the Packers have put on the public front that, yep, we want Aaron Rodgers back and we're ready to run it back, etc. But they have some, a lot of hard choices to make um, when it comes to contracts and salary cap and putting a team together. And turning the page is hard. The idea of turning the page is difficult, no doubt. Um, but we'll see how things uh, transpire here over the course of the next couple weeks. Vince, thanks for the super chat. You trade Rodgers for picks to bolster the team. Cornerback and O-line isn't as much of a need than previous years. We have tried to win with offense. Let's try with D. I mean, there's something to that, certainly. Uh, you guys know I've, I've said repeatedly there are more than one, there's more than one way to win in the NFL. Um, you do need a quarterback though. Like, even if you don't have, you know, future hall of famer, you need a quarterback. Is Jordan love that guy? Well, you're never going to find out till you get him on the field and playing in games regularly. And that's, what's difficult. The enticing idea clearly for the Packers is one more year, one more year with Aaron, make one final run, which everyone thought this year was going to be. Um, including, it sounds like, the Packers. Um, a lot of people in that building thought they were ready to make a run. But, yeah, I mean, build up your defense, so to speak. Yeah, sure, that's a possibility. I think overall this team needs, needs to get tougher and more physical. If they're going to, you know, build this team to win a ton of games, which obviously that's the point, and you get home playoff games, 
your home is Lambeau Field. Playoff games are played in January. You've got to have a running game that complements that. You've got to have a defense that complements that. Well, they certainly had the defense on Saturday night. Didn't have the running game. Certainly didn't have the quarterback. Um, M, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. With good at the helm, our future is bright. Whether 12 leaves, my hope, or he makes another run, go pack go. I very much agree with that sentiment. I know uh, Zach Cruz wrote something for uh, Packers Wire yesterday that I pretty much agreed with overall in the sense that, you know, you have to, if you're the Packers, you have to feel pretty good about where you're at, given that you did draft Jordan Love and all hell broke loose, you know, and you had the drama that was all last offseason, et cetera. Since you've drafted Jordan Love, you've got two years of MVP quarterback play. Maybe you get a third. Maybe he's not the MVP, but you get, you know, a future Hall of Famer at quarterback for maybe a third year prior to turning to your young quarterback. That's a pretty good spot to be in. However, it would have been nice if you won something along the way. And that, I think, is the enticing part of maybe bringing Rodgers back one last time. Um, Chris. Or I'm sorry, Kyle. Thanks for the super chat. In Goody, I trust we are two ACLs away from the best O line in football. If Meyer continues to develop, Pappy would be a great name for a dog. That's good. Hashtag Pappies. I like it. Um, Zach, thank you for the super chat. Trade Rogers to Denver for a bevy of picks and see if we can pry Bradley Chubb to bear with Gary, since Preston and Z will probably be cap casualties. I think Z definitely will. I'm not so sure about Preston. I think. You know, he obviously redid his deal last offseason. I don't know, man. I don't, I, I don't know about Preston. I mean, I if he were to be let go and made a cap casualty, I wouldn't be surprised. But I also think there's a possibility they figure out a way to keep him. We'll see. Tyler, thank you for the super chat. Did Lafleur learn anything about timeouts, watching his team lose, and then seeing KC buff final two minutes? Maddening, no pun intended. Um, doubtful. It's not just Lafleur though. It's also Aaron Rodgers. Two are intertwined. You know, if you if you're upset about you know game management stuff, timeouts, what have you, it's often both of them. And that timeout that they took in the second half sure looked like it was on Rodgers. Oh, Tiffany, thank you for the super sticker. Very much appreciated. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for the super chat. What would you consider to be a good haul in return for a trade for Rodgers? Does it depend on the team? I mean, obviously, it depends on what they have on offer, right? I mean, some teams are more um, ready and asset heavy. Uh, I've seen everything from possibly, I know Pete Doherty wrote a column yesterday where he talked to a scout who said, you know, what, two firsts, a couple other picks, maybe a player. I think that's the starting point, you know. Um, I'd be surprised, actually, if it got that high. But you never know. It only takes one team. And if they've got the ammo and they really want the guy, it's a possibility. And Denver fits that bill. They've got plenty of draft ammo. <coughs> they have players that Packers could probably be interested in as well. Young players, and that's the key. Matt, thanks for the Super Chat. Nagler, I don't know if this makes me a bad Packer fan, but I want us to move on from Rodgers ASAP and begin the Jordan Love era. Reload 2022. I don't think it makes you a bad Packers fan. I think... Man, there's some vitriol out there for people who think like that, though. I'll tell you that. Um, no, it doesn't make you a bad Packers fan at all. Uh, it, it, you can, look, anybody's going to feel any way they want, and I totally get it. I'm with you, Matt. I'm, I think we're, we've reached the point where Rogers has done what he's going to do in a Packers uniform. And running it back is just letting the clock run. And to to work for another year – to get in the same position to probably come up short again. Why? It's time to move on, start a new era, build around a different quarterback, and possibly build your team a little bit differently. And that's the other thing. Keeping Rodgers around, this entire team is built around him. It has been for a decade plus. We've got one championship to show for it. It's time to move on. What else we got here, folks? Pack that. Thanks for the super chat. Nobody seems to be talking about Jerry Gray. Is it possible he follows Hackett to be the DC or another place? I think it's a possibility. Um, you never really know as far as the relationships coaches have. 
maybe sometimes you're kind of privy to things like going to the combine, you see guys hanging out and stuff like that. But I, I have no idea how Nathaniel feels about Jerry. Um, is a possibility? Sure. Absolutely. Um, we'll find out here is now that Hackett is getting hired and signing that deal. He'll undoubtedly start putting his uh, staff together sooner rather than later. Tiffany, thanks for the super chat. Chances of tagging Tay were low because they've never used the tag before. Does your opinion on this change, knowing the front office wants Rogers back? No, not really. As far as Devante, it's a a tool, no doubt about it. They've, like you say, they've rarely, if ever, used it. I think it's a a a last resort method, if you will. Um, if they just are unable, simply completely unable, to reach an agreement with Devante and his people then I think we'll see them use it. Um, I still think it's a very, very long shot, though. Um, funnily enough, if they do end up having Rodgers back, I got to think some of that will be, you know, he'll have to sign a new deal because there's no way they can bring him back with his current cap hit. Um, I would think part of that will be having to, if they bring Rodgers back, is having to guarantee beyond the first year, money beyond the first year. And that's what Devontae wants. So they could break that precedent because that's something they've never done um, in this current regime, this current kind of flow of the Packers. You know, guaranteeing beyond the first year, uh, that's what T.J. Watt was holding out for and finally got. Because the Steelers had never done it. And then they did it for T.J. I could see the Packers, if they wanted to keep this group together, maybe they sign Aaron to an extension and give him guaranteed money beyond the first year, and they do the same with Tay, because per Tom Silverstein's reporting, that was the holdup. Everyone thought it was about, oh, wants to be the highest paid player, which I think he does want, but the real kind of sticking point was Devontae's people and Devontae want guaranteed money past the initial year, the first year. Packers rarely have ever do that. They are very much pay-as-you-go type team. They have been pretty much since, you know, the start of the cap. Um, they're much more strident about it now than they used to be. But, um, yeah, I think if they were to get both of them back, it's going to be uh, a breaking of their precedent contract-wise. Uh, Kyle, thanks for the super chat. I know this isn't necessarily Packers news, but breaking news with Roethlisberger retiring potential spot for Rodgers. I think Tomlin would obviously love it. <laughs> um, I think Rodgers would love it. The problem is, is the Steelers don't have a ton of draft capital. Um, not this year anyway. Maybe they do something about future years, but Packers don't want future years. They want assets now. So, I mean, I think the fit is totally good. I think that both sides would love it, but I don't know that the Steelers have the, the ammo. Alex, thanks for the super chat. In my opinion, 12 won't rework contract if it's only one year. That's what I was just talking about. And leave for free next year if forced to play. It feels that he wants the same thing New Orleans did for Breeze. You got to remember, Breeze, <coughs> with Breeze, he took below market rate on that two-year deal. Is that something Rodgers is going to be willing to do? I don't know, man. Possibly. But that's what I think they'd, they'd have to sell him on. You know? We'll see. TKM, thanks for Super Chat. Just so no one feels alone, move on. Time to see what we got with QB Jordan Love. Build around Jordan Love. First three years, 6-10, and 10-6, 13-4. Start again, rings. <laughs> Start getting rings. Oh. TKM, I like where your head's at, buddy. Kevin, thanks for the Super Chat. Nags, maybe if the Packers bring 12 back for one more year, he can finally realize his potential and lead us to the toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Kevin obviously alluding to the video. I posted it on Twitter, but it's been around forever um, of a fan talking to Ted Thompson in the summer of Favre. You got Aaron Rodgers where the only place he's going to lead you to is the toilet bowl. And then you got Brett Favre who's going to take you to the Super Bowl. One of the all-time great Packers clips. That was just amazing. Big B is here. What's up, Big B? How you doing? Jeff, thanks for the super chat. If Rogers retires, does his cap hit also? Um, not, not technically no. Um, there is still a hit. It is not as uh, big as if if he were playing, but it does um, affect the cap. 
but not in the dramatic way it would if he uh, was still in the books. Andrew, thanks for the super chat. Everyone thought 12 meant players when he said rebuild, which I get, but did he mean a rebuild of his coaching staff? He still hasn't gotten over Van Pelt. Just my two cents, Pappies. I mean, I'm pretty certain he was speaking of the roster, but to your point, yeah, he was fucking pissed about Van Pelt. There is no... Man, I, I could tell you some things. I won't, because I was told them in confidence, but man, that year after Van Pelt left, he was pissed holy cow um so yes that uh, i think definitely rubbed in the wrong way the difference here though is that you know mike mccarthy let van pelt leave end of his contract didn't give him an extension etc this is nathaniel getting a promotion essentially at one of the 32 head coaching jobs except you know he's bettering himself you know van pelt was summarily dumped essentially so the circumstances are pretty different um but I hear you. I hear what you're saying as far as like, is there going to be new? Are there going to be new voices in the room putting that offense together, et cetera? That might play into it. Uh, you'd be, I think you'd be silly to dismiss it. Kevin, thanks for the super chat. Need Murphy to poke Devante and say, tag, you're in. <laughs> well played. Let's give a shout out to our good friends over at Woodson Whiskey, shall we? That's right. It's now available in the Badger State, Wisconsin. Get yourself on woodsonwhiskey.com. Find a store near you where you can pick it up. Woodson Whiskey, if it wasn't your game day whiskey, it is now. Shout out to Charles Woodson, the goat. Look at him smiling, saying, hey, my whiskey is much baller as I am. It's good stuff. Get on it. Get on it, people. Woodsonwhiskey.com That's where you want to head. Uh Aaron loves Getsy, shouldn't be an issue. He does love Getsy, but if Getsy leaves, I think that's more to the point here, right? If Getsy goes to Denver to be the OC, then it's a very new room for, for Aaron and Matt. <clears throat> Sean, time for Murphy to go. I know Murphy, all he's done is preside over an explosion of profitability and expansion of Lambo and Title Town and um, made the Franchise a ton of money. His The team under his watch has won a boatload of games. Absolutely time for him to go. Um, he's got to go in a couple of years anyway because he's mandatory retire, retirement age. I believe he's 70. Um, he's approaching that. And then Ed Policy will most likely take over. So you'll get your wish. What about Stenovich? I think he's probably one of the uh, in-house candidates that Matt spoke about. You know, He said they have a plan in place. If Nathaniel were to get the job or a job, um, I got to think Steno's one of those names that's going to get mentioned and or hired, essentially. And look, he's already been doing some of that work anyway. Aaron, a couple of times over the last couple of years, has mentioned, you know, um, practices and weeks where Steno has in, installed certain plays, come up with certain plays, you know, things like, of that nature. So I don't think it's a, it would be a monster jump for everybody involved. I think they Matt will most likely put a premium on trying to keep Stenovich around. I think that's for sure. Draft a quarterback in 2023, regardless of Love's play. Jimmy, I totally agree. Worst time to look for a quarterback is when you need one. Thousand percent. I don't understand the Murphy hate. He completely he's completely irrelevant to what's on the field today. LOL. I mean, yes and no. Uh, he did hire the GM who picks the players, and he did hire the coach who coaches the team. But again, those are pluses, I think. Uh, Goody's pretty good at his job, and so is Matt. So I'm not entirely sure where the Murphy hate comes from. Uh... <laughs> Broncos are clout chasing th trap. That's great. I think that's a perfect place to leave it. Uh, I'm going to head out, everybody. I can't thank you guys enough for hanging out, talking Packers each and every day, Monday through Friday, right here on the Cheesehead TV social channels. Please do me a huge favor and hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and then tell your friends and tell your family, Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. Go Pack Go. Uh -huh.